Welcome to Cook, Serve, Delicious 2 and my continuing attempts to do all the Chef for Hire events at all the restaurants and get a medal each time, preferably gold. I was actually planning on watching some sport at this point. However, American TV has interrupted the sport with some politician denying that they were in some photograph which has got everybody in uproar. So, having watched a little bit of that, I decided, well, I've got some time now because I can't watch the sport because American television is a pain. So, I will do another shift of Cook, Serve, Delicious 2. And this time around, I'm going back to Sub Solutions. And shift number five, which has sandwiches, salads, breakfast biscuits, and more sandwiches. With cookies and salads as a side, 50% buzz and seven serving stations, soda and tea as the drinks, and there was one of these shifts, might have been shift four, might have been shift three, where I got a silver medal. I came back at some point and, in my own time, went to make sure I got a gold, and that took some effort. Apparently I'm not very good at sub-solutions, or not as good as I'd like to think I am. However, this time I'd like to get a perfect day. No guarantees. And it appears the only thing I can prepare are sides, so I'll prepare two sets of cookies. I forgot what the key for bacon was for a second there. Not my greatest moment. But I guess I'm going to be doing a lot of sandwiches through this one. And I almost put tomatoes on that, which would have been a mistake. Good old sub solutions with all, its, all these poor people sat around my restaurant looking at their phones for the most part, or staring at a fork. Or is that a spork? Would be nice if they brought more food. Although that would be less nice, because I would actually have to serve them that said food. So, six or one, half a dozen the other, really, I guess. Shower coming up. I do like it when they give me nice, easy, easy sandwiches to make. Same as when they give me nice, easy salads to do. This is not necessarily one of them. Oh, I finally get a breakfast biscuit to serve long after breakfast is over. That is a nice easy sandwich. You can't get a much easier sandwich than that one. Ranch, bacon, cheese, egg, crouton, tomatoes and onions. That was another nice easy sandwich. Tomato. Ah! I messed that one up. I don't know what I did wrong there. But I must have hit the wrong button somehow. Not ideal. Oh, ham turtle. Oh, God, here we go. The power sub. Oh, gold. Well, somehow I survived that mass of whatever the heck it was I was being forced to serve there. Ok, 
Okay, maybe now I can completely catch up. Preferably before the next rush hour. There as well, that didn't help. Okay. Can I do this without messing up again? Thing that was never going to end. Still feels like it's never going to end, to be honest. Great, that's two mistakes. I don't know what I did with that one. How many more mistakes I'm going to make before the end of the day? where I made mistakes which guarantees me a nice pretty silver medal and disappointment and a mounted wall light in stainless steel not happy about that I messed up a breakfast biscuit okay I messed up a sandwich as well but I messed up a breakfast biscuit bar humbug Oh god, the next one's got three different types of sandwiches. Oh, that should be fun. If I can mess up two different types of sandwiches, but I can certainly mess up three. Alright, let's go read the emails. We must defeat the Millennials. No text. Alright, I'm in agreement with that sentiment. Thank you for your fair and equal treatment. I'd like to thank you for treating all of your patrons equally. Just because I can't afford, afford to live on the upper floors of Terragon Tower doesn't mean I should be treated with any less respectively than those who can. If anything, those jerks up there should be treated like the jerky jerks they are. I'm glad to see I'm not alone. They're such jerks. Donald, extension 4715. Well, I try and be fair and equal. But I don't tend to advertise that fact because I'm from Britain and we learnt very early on that you put the big lie in the title. Just like Fox News says it's fair and balanced, the big lie is in the title. Just like the Department of Education, it educates nobody. It just provides money to people that do. The Department of Labour does no labour. The Department of Defence doesn't defend anything, it attacks. The Department of Employment doesn't employ many people, it deals with the unemployed. So any time anybody any time proclaims they're fair and equal, you probably guess they're a racist bigot. 
how and any time anybody declares they're fair and balanced, you can probably decide they're a biased lowlife. So it's the Nazis in Germany and Goebbels were great proponents of that. Tell the big lie, tell it loud enough and often enough, and people will start believing it. So anybody that goes and announces, it's like the other great examples. The Democratic Republic of North Korea, Congo, East Germany. Now, anybody that comes up with the title of their country as the Democratic Republic of, you can guarantee it's neither democratic or a republic. So, these are the ways of getting the big lies out in the title and confusing people. And, again, anybody that says they treat people fairly and equally are probably lying to you. So, there you go. Just my view on the world, or one part of my view on the world. Okay, I'll stop going on about stuff now and shut up. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you down the road for more Chef for Hire events in Cook, Serve, Delicious 2. And watch out for the big lies. Cheerio!